you from back here, but I, um, whew, I was just driving along. I am like on my way out of um, Tennessee, headed towards Georgia, towards Atlanta. And just driving along, and then all of a sudden, I look at my rear view, and I see a cop car. It's a white, like, Dodge Charger with, like, the, I don't know, the black rail thing that comes up in the front so they can hit shit. And it had, like, a little, like, black-looking camera type thing or a tracker. I don't know what that device is, but they had that on it. And um, I could see from the, on the sides of it a little bit some paint. And I was like, that must be the, the logo. And I know right now that um, I'm pretty sure speed limit is 55, and I was going like 65. And, um, but I was just going with the flow of traffic. Like I wasn't speeding, there were other cars going faster than me. And um, so I know I wasn't speeding or any, I, I mean, I know I wasn't going in on a reasonable speed. But also, <laughs> My registration is expired by one day. This June 16th, my registration is expired, or June 15th, I just realized. And um, I also have Arizona plates. I'm from out of state, very far from home. And I don't think you can tell from back there, <laughs> um, but I am a black woman. And so I was just like froze up and I was like, oh my God, I need to get over into the right lane as soon as possible. So I had to speed. I had to go over the speed limit to pass this truck on my right side and then merge back into the right lane. And I merged so that the cop car didn't have enough space to merge behind me. And then he just kept going. And I was like, Whoo. So um, I'm normally pretty good at paying attention to the speed limit, but um, I was just like distracted in my own thoughts. So thank you universe thank you creator thank you guys for not letting me get pulled over and doing what I needed to do for that cop to go away so I think that's that's the first police scare that I've had since I've been on the road which I feel really great about um I I generally don't have a lot of interactions with police for getting pulled over and I honestly think that has to do with the um the, the vehicles that I've driven and the circumstances around them. Um, when I lived in Iowa, I never got pulled over in Iowa City. Um, I don't know why that was. And, um, 
I think I deal with a lot more emotional stress and triggers than, um, I don't know, than white people doing this, like road tripping. that and you do nothing we assume that you're complicit in that because you are 